Hi, I'm David Rollins. I'm Product Design Course Director for uh, the programmes here at Bank University. Uh, we have a celebration uh, going on at the moment of our products that we've developed with our trainees. Uh, students have been working in industry. They've been working in collaboration with some uh, industrial partners that they've been on placement with. Uh, this is very important for students because they get to trial out different products and then they get to display those to the public as well as it developing their CVs and things that they're going to be working towards in, in their future jobs. My project was for uh, first time buyers and like, people with like, a small kitchen. Um, it's basically an integrated unit which sits in the corner of a room and it gives the, uh, the, the people like extra storage capability and makes storage space more usable. I've, I've done a lot of CAD on this one, like computer-aided design. I've done a lot, of, a lot of that, which is, in this day and age, most companies will only take you on if you've done some computer-aided design work. So as I've been doing this, up until this project, I hadn't really done much. So this has really helped me to kind of expand my knowledge of the, of the software. Hi, my name's Paula. I'm a third year product design student from Bang University and I designed the ArcFlow next generation of cable trunking. So in the past, cable trunking has been seen to be very unappealing, unattractive and it doesn't fit in with like contemporary builds such as Pontio which spent around £40 million on yet the trunking is so backdated and the last change that was in trunking was around 30 years ago so I wanted to make a change to that so we've done this by changing the shape of it to improve the aesthetic appeal we wanted to improve functionality so we put a light in which if it's used in offices will increase productivity and I did this for my client which was Marco Cable Management based in Clangethny who have a reputation for being the UPVC leading cable management company in the UK. Doing this course has helped me a lot uh, progress through different stages of development because in my first year I would never have been able to come up with something like this because I had no idea how to do anything. By doing this course it's taught me how to design, how to analyse everything to the point where I can actually get a product out onto the market and have it out for production quickly. Um, also through doing Enterprise by Design it's helped me um, understand a lot more and through doing that I've also been asked to enter another competition with my project for Travis Perkins, which my client wants me to go ahead with. Originally, yeah, I started like making these just because I wanted to, because I wanted to get back into sewing, but when I posted a picture of it online, everyone's like, oh, I really like this, can I buy one? And I was like, oh, I can do something with this, I can sell these and make some money. It helped me mainly with the business side of it, because I already kind of knew like what I had to do to actually make them, so they just let me get on with the manufacturing myself but it's the actual business side of like how would you like take this to market and Pontio do like a um, like a collab thing where they actually help you with that but I think that's only if you're 25 and over so I've got like a couple of years to wait for that. The course itself um, we have to do a work placement each year and it was my second year of work placement that made me think that I could actually do it properly because they have their own shop and directly behind the counter is a workshop and that's kind of like my end goal for like my, this short term five year, around five year plan that I have in my head. My project was based around trying to present um, misfueling incidents um, in the UK. Um, at the moment it's only a proof of concept uh, prototype um, but it basically involves the user being able to make decisions um, on the touch screen um, and only be able to pick up the right fuel uh, was all enabled to prevent this fueling. But it basically started off with, um, I had 11 ideas originally, um, all sort of basing from kind of uh, current sort of ideas or uh, range of truth ideas um, using future technology and then kind of ranked those using sort of um, which ones would be most viable uh, and most useful. My project's to uh, try and prevent motorcycle accidents um, by drawing the attention of a driver to the bike which hopefully stop them pulling out in front of a bike. Well, I ride bikes myself um, and I often feel quite nervous um, when I'm coming up to a junction and I can see a car and I'm not sure whether it's going to pull out in front of me or not. So I thought I'll try and think of something to make me feel a bit more relaxed. I've got a job now working in uh, CAD and this project was quite CAD based. Um, so I learned a lot about how to use the software 
properly and that's definitely going to help me be more efficient when I, when I go into work. It covers the, the whole range really, um, from the more RC side with the sketching and model making through to engineering and actual manufacture which is helpful um, in a lot of different areas really. In second year I went to work for a local furniture company and um, I sort of tried to work as hard as I could there and uh, I did quite well and they've offered me a full-time job afterwards to continue the work I'm doing, I did there at placement.